I think I think we're in live now. Okay. Good morning and good afternoon and good evening to everyone. Uh, I'm Shafiq as a head of operation and uh, director from Boost Education, and we are going we are going to organize live session with our favorite partner, Demon for University, and our today our guest. Uh, Mr. Amar and Martin both. So they will discuss about opportunities, scholarships, and many facilities, benefits, so why you should study at Demon for University. So yeah, go on guys. Okay, maybe I could uh, I could just begin um, before we pass over to Amar, who'll do a bit more of a, a detailed presentation for everyone. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to pick up on a on a few key points. Yeah, just say, so my name's Martin Booth. Uh, we're at DeMorford University uh, and, and Amra and myself work in the international office. Uh, we look after various parts of the world in terms of supporting students coming to the university. And one of those specifically being um, many of the countries in the South Asia region. So we, um, we're very well placed to help um, students um, who might be coming from that region, or to be honest, um, many of the other regions around the world. Um, uh, just really wanted to say that uh, the university, we're based in the city of Leicester. Um, I think uh, without a shadow of doubt, anyone who knows the city of Leicester will know that uh, what we're known for being is really a, a, an international city. Um, uh, and quite specifically, I believe there's probably quite a lot of students from the South Asia region, but quite specifically, Leicester has a, a very, very large South Asian community. Um, to give you an example of that, actually, um, the reason I live in Leicester is because my wife's family are from a South Asian background. So that just gives you an example straight away. You know, me, myself, I'm in Leicester, and the reason uh, that we're here is, is partly because of the, the South Asian connection. Um, but what that means for students coming um, to, to live in the city and, and join the university is that you're going to be um, kind of very at home here. You're going to be able to enjoy all the things that you would enjoy at home. Um, whether that be you know, religious practices, food, uh, people, sports, all the things that you enjoy at home, you can do here. So that, that, that's really quite a, a crucial thing because you're obviously planning to move to a completely different country and to know that when you do that, you're going to be going somewhere where you're going to be um, very familiar with and, uh, and, and have surroundings of people that you're comfortable and familiar with. It's obviously a key part of that. Um, uh, it's not by uh, any chance either that also many of our programs, we have um, over 450 programs across many different levels, tend to be the program types that students, international students and South Asian students tend to be thinking about when they're planning to maybe come and study in the UK. So I I'm not saying that we'll have every program for every student, but what I would say is I would expect in most cases we will either have that program or we'll have something very similar. So I'd encourage you to, to speak to, to Boost, um, who uh, I really want to thank for setting up this session for us and giving us this great opportunity to speak to you. Um, but yes, please um, speak to them and they can, with, their, with, with, with all their team, help you through that process and tell you the programmes that we have and also give you more information about the city, as well as obviously the wider process of, of coming to study in the UK. Um, Finally, just really wanted to touch a little bit on the, uh, the COVID situation. Um, obviously, it's been a, quite a, a challenging time for us all. Um, but but I, I, I think the, the important things to say there is that um, the COVID virus is a global issue. It's not an issue that is purely in um, a specific country. It's not just in China. It's not just in America, yeah, not just in the UK or India. It's something that we're having to deal with everywhere in the world. And certainly uh, the UK is um, is no worse off than any other country. So in terms of um, students potentially being worried about coming to the UK because of the COVID situation, you're, you're not going to be any uh, worse off here. You know, we have COVID here. There is COVID everywhere in the world. So that's just something we have to deal with. What I would say, though, is that um, obviously the, the, the UK, you know, we're a, a uh, a very well developed um, country. So, if anyone is unfortunate enough to have any problems, we have a, you know, a superb, arguably, you know, world class health care system. Um, but also, um, as you expect, because of the way um, 
the, the country works, there has been significant work put in place to make sure that businesses, cities, transport, and quite specifically um, universities um, have put in um, many things to make, um, make everywhere safe. So as an institution, there's been so much work on, on making the campus safe for, for students while they're there and, and making sure that um, uh, the, the virus can't be trans transmitted. Um, so you can be very comfortable ab about that side of things. And, and, and I'd reiterate, you know, it's a global problem. It's, so you're not gonna be any worse off here. In fact, arguably for some of those reasons I mentioned, you might be better off. Um, also, I'd say that uh, as, as, a, as a country, you know, we're still very much open for business. Um, you know, our, our January in Texas University is very much happening. Um, part of that um, social distancing um, that we've been talking about to make sure students are safe means that we're going to have a few less places, but that's to make sure that everyone's safe. So um, as part of that specifically, I'd encourage any students who are thinking about joining us for January not to leave it too late because we're not going to have um, as many numbers available as we normally would do. But just to reiterate, we very much have the, the January intake and we're looking forward to, to join uh, students joining us from around the world as they are currently for the current intake. Um, and I'd also say as a, as, a, as a country and as a city, um, we're also very much open for business. So any students who are maybe joining us who are planning to have a part time job uh, whilst they're in the city, then, you know, biz businesses are still very much um, working here. Uh, and as a country and a city and a university, you know, we're very much moving forward with that. So don't think that you're going to come here and you're not going to be able to, uh, to participate in all the things that a student would normally do and and maybe get jobs and those types of things. Uh, anyway, I, I, I've, I've, I've spoken for quite a long time, so I apologise for that. <laughs> um, um, I just want to say that um, uh, if you have any questions, um, please make a note of those. Um, I'm not sure... Uh, whether we can, we can put those in the chat box or ask those at the end, perhaps you could confirm. But um, Amma and I, after we've had um, Amma's presentation, will be very happy to answer any of your questions. So I'd encourage you to um, put those down or if you think of anything while Amma's talking, please put those down and we'll um, do our very best to answer those for you. Okay. So uh, thanks once again. Um, thank you very much for joining the session and uh, giving us this opportunity. So I'll pass over to Amma. Thank you. Thank you very much, Martin. Uh, thank you very much again, Shafiq, for uh, the lovely opportunity with the Boost Education Services. And uh, yeah, I can't add anything after uh, Martin's uh, lovely opening. So if you don't mind, I will start with the presentation for January 2021. I'm going to share the presentation. Please do let me know if you can see. Uh, Um, can you see my screen? No, N not yet. Not yet, yeah. Okay. How about now? No. Yes, I think so. Oh, it's coming. Yeah. 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 All good. All right. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Good, Lovely. good. I'm going, yeah, I'm going to start. So, uh, Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining uh, the session. Uh, my name is Amr Fahad, and I work uh, for the Monfort University. So as uh, as Martin mentioned, uh, in terms of location, Leicester is uh, really in a good location. We're just over an hour from London, central London, by train. Uh, we actually have an international airport next to us, uh, that's Birmingham, and that's less than an hour drive. We have the East Midland, that's about 20 minutes drive. And this is for the local and the EU uh, uh, flights. Uh, we have over 27,000 
students from over 135 uh, different countries. So you can tell that's very multicultural, multinational, and that's the diversity that we would like to see uh, in our university. And the experience that the student will have during their educational journey is uh, absolutely fantastic. We have over 300 programs uh, across the four faculties. We offer foundation, undergraduate, postgraduate uh, taught, that's master's or, or research as master uh, research and a PhD level. Uh, we're centrally located, so we're five minutes walk away from the city center, and we're about 12 minutes walk away from the train station. So most of our students who live in the city center or near the train station, they don't need any transportation because they can walk or cycle. Uh, we've been awarded the TEF Gold, and that's the Teaching Excellence Framework, and that's the uh, government tool that endorsed ranking uh, uh, and teaching and the quality of, of student satisfaction. Uh, a few pictures here uh, to show the, uh, the city center um, and the Leicester City Football Club, which we have an uh, excellent relationship with, uh, especially after they won the Premier League in 2016. You can also see the shopping mall, uh, we're not encouraging students to do shopping during their lectures, but it's five minutes walk away from there. We have a lot of uh, good parks and, and uh, uh, places that students can go and walk and, and relax uh, after lectures. Uh, briefly, because we, we always have uh, uh, the questions about the, the English test and the qualification that we can accept. So at the moment, we're accepting, of course, IELTS, uh, IELTS indicator and the TOEFL Home Edition, the IBT. We're not accepting Duolingo, unfortunately, uh, for students who already uh, took the Duolingo test. We can accept the Duolingo only in one case, which is for a pre-sessional English program. If a student uh, is interested to study English before their degree, then the Duolingo is accepted. We also offer our own uh, academic test of English, which is called the DATE. That's the Monfort Academic Test of English. It's free of charge for our students. So once you've applied, uh, again, I would like to echo Martin's point. Uh, we have limited seats for January 21. So please do get in touch with Boost. Uh, they will help you with the application. Once you've received the offer, we can uh, progress and do the English test. Uh, free of charge. For In terms of scholarships for January intake, we have few scholarships. Uh, again, we do encourage students who applied, received the offer, accepted the offer uh, to, to go ahead and, and uh, check our website for the scholarship. So we have uh, for the postgraduate level, because most of our courses we're offering for January are for postgraduate, we have the Equality, Diversity and Inclusion, EDI scholarship, and it's up to £4,000 the student would need to accept the offer, submit uh, a personal statement, and there will be a panel end of November to uh, review the uh, candidates, and then they will announce the, the uh, winner. Uh, we also have the sustainability scholarship, and again, it's up to £4,000 for a postgraduate taught degree, and we have the early bird discount, uh, again, for January 21, uh, first come, first serve. Um, in, in general, uh, as I mentioned, these are the scholarships, uh, in terms of the tuition fees, they range between 13750 to 14600 We do have, of course, exceptions, uh, for example, like the cybersecurity, which can go up to the 17, 780, uh, almost 18,000 pounds. We would encourage the student to pay the 50%, and then the remaining 50% they can pay in installments, and we have two installment plans. Our financial uh, support team, they can guide the student through this uh, plan. Uh, however, we need to see that the student, especially overseas student, that they have the amount of money in their bank statement matured for 28 days before they apply or request the CAS. Uh, the living cost, they range between 7000 and 9000 per year because it, it depends on, on how much you spend. But average in a month, it's about 850 This includes, of course, your accommodation, your food, your bills, and your social life. Uh, we have accommodation uh, uh, on campus and two or three minutes walk away from the campus. Um, top of the uh, our state facilities, uh, they're really good. Uh, we, we have online viewing now um, just due to the corona, but we guarantee the accommodation for uh, our student uh, first year, international student. Uh, this is a picture of, of the campus. On the left-hand side, you can see the... Um, art and design and humanities uh, building on the right hand side is the queen's building that's the uh, computing engineering and media and uh, 
uh, later on, I'll show you the business in law and the health and life sciences. So for the business in law, I'll just highlight the courses are, high, uh, are uh, in, in blue color in the middle that we're offering in January. Uh, most of the courses, as I mentioned in the beginning, they will be for a postgraduate degree. We do offer, for example, accounting, but that's only a top up year, year three and uh, business administration again uh, and international finance and business as a top up. Uh, we have the Bloomberg system, and that's linked to the Wall Street stock market. Again, for our students, that's the kind of practical experience they need to have before they start applying for jobs. Uh, we have a lot of courses accredited by professional bodies, uh, and uh, we have um, uh, a lot of students who did their placement with our industrial uh, links. We always encourage students to get in touch with the placement team in each faculty and try to apply for um, uh, placements or volunteering jobs uh, as soon as possible. And hopefully with the PSW posted work visa uh, coming in play soon, uh, this will help us secure a job hopefully in the near future. Uh, another picture for the Leicester Castle Business School, and this is where uh, a certain programs such as the Global MBA, which is one of the most popular postgraduate taught programs at the university is taught. This used to be a court and the university acquired this and did a refurbishment, kept everything, but of course provided all the Wi-Fi, the safety, the, safety, uh, the facilities uh, such as TV and, and, and sharing screens. So the students will have a different atmosphere when or while they're studying at their postgraduate level. Uh, another picture here for one of our students and a professor in the Bloomberg suite learning how to uh, uh, work with the stocks and, and uh, in terms of selling buying and exchanging the second faculty and it's really popular amongst our international students and European students of course uh, the computing engineering and media On the left hand side you can see the programs that we're offering for general intake and they're all for uh, postgraduate level, we don't offer anything for undergraduate uh, level. In terms of uh, this faculty, we really have excellent links with, with industrial partners such as Deloitte UK, Airbus, BT, Rolls-Royce. We have a lot of students who, who, who did um, placements and started working in international companies such as Rolls-Royce, Samsung, uh, IBM, uh, Microsoft, um, uh, BBC, of course. Uh, again, the, the tuition fees, as I mentioned, it ranges between uh, 13, 14,000. Well, we still have exceptions such as the cybersecurity, which can go up to 18,000. This is a picture for uh, students in the computer lab uh, doing the, the um, um, game production. The third faculty is the health and life sciences. And uh, again, the courses that we offer on the left hand, left hand side, that will be for postgraduate level. It's worth mentioning not only for this faculty, overall for the university that our employability rate is about 97.3. And that's above the average in the UK, which is about 14, uh, 94%. And the reason why, because the students, uh, we, we encourage them to do practical sessions and, and volunteer for works through our industrial links so they can have uh, more and more experience. Also, uh, the, the DMU Global, which I will mention uh, uh, just in a few minutes, again, this will add uh, more uh, value to the student CV. Um, uh, one of the, the most important courses that we offer at uh, the Health and Life Sciences is the pharmacy, and it's accredited by GPHC. That's the General Pharmaceutical Council, and we've been running this course for over 100 uh, years. We also offer nursing, uh, uh, and that's open for international students. But as, as I mentioned, and Martin uh, mentioned, we have very limited seats, so please do apply as soon as possible. Um, pictures of our students uh, during their placement in a pharmacy. The fourth faculty is the art and design, and this is one of the newest buildings that we opened in the summer of 2016, and the university invested over 58 million pounds. Um, again, this place, they have availability in terms of studios, uh, places for students to do their work, 3D printer and, uh, facilities. Um, again, we recognize worldwide for our excellence, uh, in, especially in courses like footwear design or the contour fashion. Uh, we have students who have uh, been awarded uh, nice nice uh, awards uh, due to their work or maybe their uh, uh, graduation projects. On the left-hand side, we have the courses that we offer for uh, uh, during January intake, such as architecture, uh, design innovation, or fashion management with marketing. Again, that's one of the most popular courses or product uh, design. 
as I mentioned earlier, earlier about the uh, the uh, industry, we have over 170 courses that are accredited by professional bodies, uh, such as, for example, uh, CIMA, which is the Chartered Institute of Management Accountants, or IIT, that's the Institute of Engineering Technology, or as I mentioned about the General Pharmaceutical uh, and, and Reba, that's the Royal Institute of British Architecture. A uh, few of our uh, uh, industry uh, partners uh, in the field and uh, where our students they can go and do their placements and a few of them, uh, quite a few actually, managed to secure a permanent job there. That's the picture I promised I'll show you. On the right hand side, that's the business and law faculty. On the left hand side, that's the health and uh, life sciences building. This is where the um, the pharmacy and the nursing will take place. Uh, I mentioned a couple of minutes ago the DMU Global. That's a unique initiative that the university offers to our students, all open to all students, home, European and international. And unfortunately, because due to the corona, we, we stopped the international uh, travels. Basically, what a DMU Global uh, objective is to help students to uh, apply and travel overseas, uh, whether it's, for example, New York, Germany, India, Hong Kong, different places, so they can spend a week there. Uh, according to their field, they can do a bit of work so they can learn more and gain more experience. When we did the survey, we uh, we were surprised that 19% of our students, they joined just because of DMU Global. And I'm going to show you some pictures of our students who traveled um, last year. So on the left hand side, we have mechanical engineering students They traveled to New York to see the Grand Central Station. Uh, they've, they've had a, a lovely experience that check the protocol, how the, the management there, how is the, um, the upgrade, the maintenance or the uh, any uh, expanding projects. And they compared this to the underground in London. And again, that's kind of experience that the student will need to add on their CV. Uh, and this will help them with the job. Another uh, brilliant example is the business and law students on the right hand side, top right hand. They have traveled to the United uh, to New York and they went to the United, United Nation. And few of them actually managed to deliver a speech in the United Nation. So um, to the best of my knowledge, I only know few places in the world that they can offer such an opportunity to students. Uh, and again, just to, to echo the point, students will need this experience to add it on their CV and, and, and do this kind of work. Um, again, more uh, more pictures here as journalism and media and the uh, game art and design uh, students. What De Monfort can offer to our international students? We, of course, we will arrange with yourself and, and with Boots or, or the representative, the free airport pickup. We will announce the dates and everything so we can help the students. We offer the International Welcome Week and this is where uh, the students will meet with other students across the university, will meet with the different societies so they get to know more and more about the university. We also do the buddy scheme. This is where the students will meet with uh, a fellow colleague who's in, in an advanced year or about to graduate or just about to finish their postgraduate level so they can introduce them to the course and to the university. Um, we also offer to our student the discounted gym membership. And that's uh, something uh, most of our students are interested in. We have a gym just two minutes walk away around the corner from the campus. Uh, really lovely place. We have a swimming pool there, even climbing mount, uh, walls for, for students who, who, who would like to, to do different kind of sports. We also offer free English speaking classes for students who are a bit shy or they would like to practice their speaking uh, element. Uh, we also offer, uh, apart from the DMU Global, we have a local which will explore the UK and take the students to different cities so they can um, learn more about the, the British culture and different cities in the UK. A picture of our students here in the International Welcome Week. As you can see, tables there, students from different countries, different programs, different levels will sit and uh, network with each other. And we have the Music Society performing here on stage. In terms of how to apply as a student, uh, as I mentioned, please do get in touch with uh, uh, Boost Education. Uh, there is an application form that can help you with. We would require your transcript and your certificate uh, or diplomas in, in original. Uh, if it's different than English language, please do provide the original and the translated uh, uh, versions. Uh, we would like a strong personal statement, a reference letters, and the English, as I mentioned earlier, whether it's IELTS, IELTS Indicator or TOEFL Home Edition. Uh, then I would uh, 
yourself or the agent will need to submit the the documents hopefully we will get you the conditional offer once the the offer uh, the conditions are fulfilled we can move to the unconditional offer stage then if needed we can do the precast assessment which is the credibility interview the student can pay the deposit and we can help you with the visa that's me uh, i finished here um, uh, more thank you for listening and i'm more than happy to to answer any questions that you might have Okay, thank you, Mr. Almor. Thank you for a nice presentation. No, no problem at all. So I have a couple of questions here, so I'm going to highlight the questions sure. so you can sure. see and then uh, give the answer up. You know. So let me highlight here. One student who has IELTS score overall band score six point five, mm -hmm. and listening six point five, reading six point five, writing six point zero, speaking seven. He on a study in MS in cybersecurity. He finished BS in electric and uh, electronics engineering with G GPA 2.82 out of four. Okay, um, um, that's a good GPA, but I'm not sure which university or which country, so I can't answer this. Yeah, uh, yeah it's from Bangladesh. It's Bangladesh, yeah, okay. it's, mm, private university. Let me in details here. So that's that's above sixty five percent, if I'm assuming correctly, Shafiq, right? Yeah, the two point yeah, eight. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. You can apply. I mean, uh, we would like to know more about your experience in programming. So once you tell me more about your programming level, we'll be more than happy to to of course approach the academics and 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 help you with 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 the offer for cyber. Uh, security, but again, as as I mentioned, and Martin uh, kindly mentioned at the beginning, uh, cybersecurity is really popular, and it's one of the most uh, programs in demand worldwide. Uh, we have really limited seats, so yeah, please do apply as soon as possible, and we promise that we'll get in touch. In terms of IELTS, yeah, of course, with your score, um, you have every element above five point five, and the overall is above six, so you're you're good to go. We just need your okay. documentation. And how much the teaching fees after scholarships and that? Uh, full payment or early bird discount. So that he's asking in my WhatsApp that how much going to be the discount and how much going to be the scholarships. Okay, so after deducting, how much going to be the accurate tuition fees? So if if let's say we're talking about um, if you applied for one of the program uh, for uh, the scholarships as EDI or uh, the Equality, Diversity and Inclusion or the the sustainability both if you have been awarded like i said it has to go through a panel so it's uh, uh, up to four uh, four thousand pounds the tuition fees for this course is seventeen thousand seven hundred and eighty so if you've been awarded this so it would be thirteen thousand seven hundred and eighty uh, in order to proceed for the cast you will need to pay fifty percent so you will need to pay about um seven thousand yeah seven, okay yeah, uh, if you've been awarded the, this, if not, he, then you will. If you want to pay the full amount of tuition fees, how much he can get the dis discount? Unfortunately, we we stopped this. We used to do this, but we're not doing it anymore. So if you've paid the full tuition fees, it wouldn't make a difference. We need the fifty percent minimum in order what, to proceed. What, what you mentioned in your presentation that early bird discount. So what is that? Oh no, the early bird discount is not. I, I, I thought you were asking if you paid the full tuition fees, can you get more discount? No, the early bird discount it's first come first serve. Uh, it's uh, it's. Um, deadline. Uh, Sorry. Deadline for the early early bird discount. When is the deadline for that? Uh, if I'm. No, not... I'll, I'll jump in. It's to be honest, yeah. it hasn't been exactly confirmed, but um, I'm expecting it to be around about the first week um in December. Um, that early, per, early bird discount is £500. But the key thing here, as I said earlier, and Ahmed just touched on, students should not wait to pay their deposit until then because all of our programmes, but especially cybersecurity, the, the places will have gone by then. So it, it's it, the, the issue isn't really the, getting the early bird discount. The issue is actually getting getting a place before they all go. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. Yes, that's good, good. And few other questions. And I have the part of some, you know, let me highlight second questions, okay? Sure. A scholarship for international students for masters from India, okay? 
Okay. Well, we, it's open for all international students, so we, we don't have specific uh, or country specific scholarship. So, as I mentioned, if it's postgraduate taught, as this question is, so we would uh, encourage them if they would like to apply for the equality, diversity, inclusion, or the sustainability. Again, there is no guarantee, and you cannot apply for two scholarships. You will need only to choose one. Uh, there will be a panel that will review this, then they will announce the candidate. It's up to £4,000. The same thing uh, for um, early bird discount, it's first come, first serve. Um, again, if you've paid the, 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 the deposit and the 50%, we can uh, ask admissions to, to apply the, the discount. So um, I hope this clears it. For the postgraduate, it's up to £4,000, but you need to apply, and then there will be a panel. They will need to review uh, the candidates, and then they will announce a winner but it's not guaranteed. So again, we always, uh, and we rely on your help here, uh, Shafiq, of course, so you can review uh, and help the student and guide them through this process. Okay, so another question I'm taking here. How much cash deposit do we need to pay? Also, are there any opportunities for scholarship? Sam, okay. How much the cash deposit you need? So they need to pay four thousand pounds, but again, before they register or apply for the CAS, it will need to be fifty percent. So we advise the students, especially international students, so they won't pay twice and and pay for the uh, the transfer. Just pay fifty percent uh, upfront, and this will make it easier for you to apply for the scholarship if you're eligible, or to request the CAS and do the interview, so you can start enrolling online. So how many days will it take to issue the offer letter? I can leave this with Martin. He likes to answer this question. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Amma. That's very kind of you. Um, that, that's a very good question. Um, uh, a, a standard, we try to have these out um, with, with it within a week. Um, uh, we do, as you'd expect, with most institutions, we have periods in the year when we're very, very busy um, and other periods where it's a little bit less quiet. But generally, the, uh, the, the admissions team work to, to, to a five day, that's their, their, their key performance indicator, if you like. Um, what I would say to students though is, um, uh, don't base your decision about coming to a university on how quickly that university sends you an offer. You know, you're, you're making a, a, you know, a significant, um, very honorable investment in your life uh, and financially as well. Um, and I really would, would discourage people to make that decision based on because one institution sends you the offer in half an hour and another one takes five days or whatever it might be. Um, make your decision based on the best institution and I can be, as I talked about this, the best city for you rather than how quickly someone can get you an offer. Thanks. Okay, another question here. Is there any criteria for free English test? Yeah, as I mentioned, that's the De Montfort Academic Test of English. As soon as you apply and receive an offer, we can book you for an English test. It's similar to IELTS in structure. The first day will be reading and writing. Second day will be speaking and listening. We need your personal email, of course, because we will send you the invitation. It will be uh, online, of course, and our English department and the English teachers will be uh, supervising, uh, supervising this. And hopefully within one working week, they can announce the score and send you the certificate. The certificate is valid for two years. However, if you did not manage to, of course, uh, uh, achieve the required score, you can repeat the test, but after three months, you cannot repeat it on, on, on straight away. You will need to have three months, and that's the, the agreed time with, with, with the faculty and, of course, with the compliance team to give you enough time as a student to improve on your English and hopefully uh, score the required mark. I'd also just, just confirm that test is uh, it's free online and free as well. Okay, what is the CAS deadline and when is the CAS deadline for January? Uh, okay, once again, that's something it is actually being uh, confirmed right now. I would expect that CAS deadline to be around about the, uh, in terms of us saying to the admissions team, issue the CAS to be probably the first week in January. Um, but as I, as I said before, I say again, please let's not leave these until the last moment. Um, the, the, I, I can't stress enough, the students who are making these decisions and sending their applications, paying their deposits, um, doing our English test, the, the big early will be the ones who will be able to join us. The ones who leave everything till the last minute 
We're just not going to have places. I know that. Okay, that's good. So I think this all are our questions, whatever I got. Okay. So anything you want to highlight or on the end, I think we're going to finish. Yeah, maybe I could just jump in and then maybe I could, I'm sure Amaral wants a couple of quick words and I'm sure you will, Shafiq, as well. Yeah, I just want to, just those key points again. I absolutely assure anyone, especially anyone from the South Asia region, that De Montfort University, we're based in Leicester. Leicester is arguably absolutely the best city for you because of the those extraordinary connections we have. Um, we have a, you know, a, 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 we're a fabulous university. We have uh, international students are a very important part of that. We're very much open for business um, for the intake of January and beyond. And students really will be able to, uh, to enjoy their time while they're here. But I'll just reiterate again, you know, because of the COVID situation and making sure students are safe, we're limiting numbers a little bit. Um, so we're, it, the students who are interested, I really encourage you, apply and meet all the, the entry requirements, et cetera, early rather than later. Um, just want to say thanks again, everyone, from my side for joining. Thank you once again, Boost, for giving us this opportunity. And obviously, any students who are interested, please go to Boost, who can, um, who can channel you and steer you through this, this process to make it uh, as smooth as possible. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, we're very much looking forward to hopefully um, welcoming any, um, any and everyone who's joined the session today. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you for your coming here. Okay. Take care, guys. Take care. Thank you. Thank you very much, Rafiq. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thanks.